Hey, how you doing? It's your boy Just Tim. We're here at the premiere for Shock Nation season two. The cast. We're going to go ahead and try to introduce. How you doing there, gorgeous? Hi. How are you? Tim? I'm doing good. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to the people out there? Let them know your character, who you play, and what you like about shooting the film. Oh, absolutely. Well, I'm Isla Angel. I play Bree. I'm Sachi's best friend from out of town. Well, I'm Derek Quick, and I play Bernard, which is Sachi's dad. And Sachi's dad don't play. I'm Rick Palmer Jr. So I play Mr. Williams. My name is Kevin Harden, and I play for the dancer from Shock Nation season two. Uh, my name is Maisha Hurd. I play the character Simone, who is um, really after Bernard, Sachi's dad. Um, so I'm Sheree McCain. I'm one of the producers for season two of Shock Nation. Hey guys, I'm actress Tierra Crystal. I play Mrs. Williams in season one and season two. Um, I think my favorite part about, I think you said filming, right? Yeah. Sure. My favorite part about filming is it's a family environment and you can also learn different aspects of the business too. Kim Ye, she just brings everybody in her vision and everybody can step up. So that's what I loved about filming. I'm excited about Shock Nation. This is my second season. I was in the first season and I'm really excited and very thankful for Kim Ye giving me this opportunity, acting. It's, it's a pleasure, you know, it's, a, it's energy, it's family, we get together and we have a good time. You know, it's not just business, but it's fun. I uh, act him out of full living and to be a part of this production, like I said before, is that it's, it's just an honor, it's a pleasure. Kimye is a really good friend of mine, we've been friends for years and to see her blossom in this way, it's a really good thing and I'm just in awe. It's important for everybody to support Shock Nation because it is filmed in Baltimore, big up to Baltimore, we love Baltimore City, Charm City and um, it's a creative work and Kimye has put a lot of hard work, sweat, tears into this production and we just really want to get it out there and let people enjoy it and see a different side of Baltimore, especially with all the awesome dancing. So producing like a project, you got to look over the whole project. And one thing is you got to make sure everybody's on time. Um, the budget, you got to make sure everything is in order. You got to make sure the cast and crew is professional. So I, one thing I will say is if you're producing, make sure you have an eye for talent. Make sure you have an a, a eye for being professional because it's a lot of work that go into it. You, producers, we don't sleep. I can tell you that right now, and I produce multiple projects, so producers, we don't sleep at all until it's finished. So Kimmy A um, is going to always have a special place in my heart because my first film project, I played her best friend in Diamonds in the Rough by Taisha Downer, so that relationship started maybe back in 2015, and here we are now in 2019, still working side by side. I'm so proud of her, and like I said, I'm just so grateful to be a part of the project, so on a film because mm -hmm. they gave me a part that I could cuss but like one of, one of the actors told me um, can't, just don't worry about what your mother says just follow show, your dream yeah follow your dream absolutely you don't worry about no naysayers you want you got something you want to do you go out there and you go get it right mm -hmm. and that's what you're doing right and you're clean and you're sharp I just like the sound. I know they watch it up above. I was 
very close with all four of my grandmothers. My two grandmothers, for my mother and my father, and my two great grandmothers. And um, it's really hard and it's, it's crazy not to have any of them here anymore. But um, I know that all of them are, are watching this exact moment right here. So, patient, I want to highlight some individuals that have really been rocking with me since season two and just really helping me really put this together because I couldn't do it by myself. Mm. I had to have a whole team of people and Paris, my partner being one of them who I remember this was just a vision and I talked to my boyfriend Alan about it first and I told him about it. This was when the script was written but it wasn't anything else. It was just the script. And he told me, he was like, you got this vision, you got this great talent. Well, I need you to do something for me. I need you to prove it. And I'm a ball player, so I don't take challenges lightly. So I said, okay, I took that to heart. I said, okay, I'm gonna prove it to you. And then I used all my resources. He said, use your resources that you already have and acted for 10 years and I gained all these resources. And Paris was the first person that I called to help me. So he became my partner in crime and molding Shock Nation from the beginning to now. So thank you very much, Paris. I am a filmmaker. Um, come out to support my sister here. I thought it was excellent. I wish I had seen the first season of it, but uh, I can look it up now. <laughs> Anyhow, I think she did a great job overall. I loved it. I loved all the different characters, everyone and all their emotions. The plot was amazing. What was your favorite part of the series? I think that my favorite part was the fact that I actually thought Mr. Williams was cheating, mm -hmm. and he really yeah. wasn't. So yeah. Because black men don't cheat. Uh, it was great. It was fantastic. Definitely had my attention. I mean, the shots, everything was clean. I definitely enjoyed the soundtrack, so you got some good He's singers. He's a cameraman and editor, so that, you know, he, oh, yeah. he coming from that perspective. <laughs> but it was extremely entertaining. You know, just from episode to episode, kept you in, kept you locked in. So I thought it was really good. And I loved it so far. Like, she's helping me, our model. Okay. So she's definitely helping me out with that. Um, but I loved it. I'm going to go home and I'm going to watch the first season. I was about to say, because I was about to get with you. Oh, so you seen season two, but you ain't seen season one. Definitely going to go home and watch the first season. Um, but I loved it. It was amazing. It was awesome. real good. Hopefully I'll be in the third season.